Hello viewers, today we are going to learn how to retouch this image or how to make more beautiful this image. So let's begin our tutorial. This is our model and we are going to change the background and first we select this model by using pen tool or quick selection tool. This one is clear vision so we are going with quick selection tool. Then click on quick selection tool and then just select this model. Take a little bit time to make your selection. Now the selection is almost done. This is clear, this is clear, this is clear. Yeah, the selection is done. Now we are going to take a new document or new page. Then just first click on move tool, then go to file and click on new. Take any of your size, make resolution 300, this one is very important. Then press ok. This is our document. Now we are adjusting or arrange the background image. So first of all we take this field image, just drag and drop. This one is make control minus now press control minus to zoom out the image then adjust the size of your image now this one is done uh, you can now this one make it a little bit smaller and then adjust it just simply stretch this image so quite now now we are going to arrange the background so first of all we take a sky image this one is perfect and just drag and drop this one resize the image by holding shift and alt key then press right now we are going to take a mask layer then click on mask layer and go to brush make opacity 100% and then hide this layer sky layer and now we are going to apply mask on this layer so just apply the mask layer The mask layer is done. Now we are visible this image again, the sky image, and we are going to down this image. So now we can see that the background looks so good. Now we are placing the, our model in this place. So take your model, just drag and drop, and adjust the size of your model. then just up the layer now now your model image is placed and now we are going again with quick selection tool just apply this quick selection tool then click on layer and mask click on refine tool and zoom your model image and just rub simply rub this outer side of hair it helps to select fine quality of your hair now then click on decontaminated color go to new layer and press ok so now you can see that the hairs are select quite good now again zoom out the image by pressing ctrl minus and then we are going to use mask layer your smart tool 
then zoom your image again and just apply a little bit like this just rough simply rough just simply rub the complete area do the same thing on the other side of here do the same thing Just zoom out the image by pressing Ctrl minus. Then we are going to take a mask layer. Press just brush, and this one is another process. I am going to with this. This make duplicate your sorry, make duplicate your grass layer. Just up your layer, and now using mask layer. Now, now it's look good, quite good. It look like she was standing between grass. So now you can add more image, such like oh, I'm going to add a light behind this model. So take a light image. This one is my light image. Just. Just drag and drop this image. Set behind the model. Move and just click on blending mode and select a screen. Zoom out your image. So this has been done now we again apply a little bit light in upper side of or forward of our model then duplicate our light image again then just place it here and make feel now adjust the fill line and now going again click on mask layer click here and make opacity 18% and now apply little bit mask on her hair Now this one is done. The image looks amazing. Now we are going to apply dodge and burn tool. Then just click a blank layer, take a blank layer, go to edit, go to fill and take 50% gray. Then press okay. Now click on right click and then go to create clipping mask. Just set click on blending mode and select overlay now go to dodge tool and apply the dodge tool it's provide amazing look This one looks so dynamic and dramatic.
now the work is almost done now you can add more image such like flying tree or uh, flying leaves or any other things now i am going a uh, but a uh, few butterflies to make this one more fantasy and dramatic so take this butterfly image just click on laser tool and simply select these butterflies just click on move tool and simply drag and drop first this one again do the same thing like take this one same process just drag and drop after selection just drag and drop then again take maybe this one this one is also looks so good so now i'm going to take three butterfly image just click on edit and go to transform and just click on play horizontal make size as like a butterfly do the same thing uh do the same thing with third one now you can duplicate this one or this one and simply paste oh, sorry now duplicate this one and simply paste here or there this one so now now we are going to add more leaves so this one is our leaves and just drag and drop this one is in png format so it's make easy control minus zoom out your image then just place it now color the color this leaves by using hue saturation then click on adjustment layer and go to hue saturation click this one clipping mask colorize and make this one red there are so many so remove some of them then click on mask layer go to brush make this one 100% opacity and remove this 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 one is so so many so you don't do not need so many leaves now now it's look amazing now we are going to add a final touch so what you have to done just we click on adjustment layer and go to color balance and we balancing the color now now we take a blank layer brush tool select cyan color it's look amazing and provide a great fantasy look zoom the image and just simply press set this one in soft layer fill 50% no need to go much high quality just simple then now we again merge the complete the whole layer merge in one layer so what you have to done just hold shift control alt then press e the complete work is merged in just in one layer now we are going to duplicate this one
duplicate this one and go to filter select camera raw filter increase saturation also increase the vibrant this one increase the yellow particles of your image and temperate make blue exposure make little bit darker not so much high contrast Contra increase the contrast little bit highlighted area must be important shadow area also important and white balance it increases the white particle of your image now click on split tone and make this one lighter area yellow and the darker area i'm going with blue effects little bit increase the sharpness then press okay now we are going again click on filter and take nick collection this one is free plugin you can download from directly nick collection website now just click on color effects pro and increase the light in part now it's look amazing now we just click on okay so your work is done if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with a new tutorial okay goodbye thank you for watching